fresh out the shower, both you and I. Look at you. Yeah. You got your hair's wet. My hair's kind of wet, too. We're clean boys. I mean, you're probably covered in fucking pee and, and COVID after working in here. Yeah? There are a lot of COVID, COVID people in your... Uh, 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 a lot of people are sick there. Because yeah. from what I've heard, there's mold in the building. Mold? Which happened at my last job, too. Really? Yeah. At the... Um, at your dad's job? Your dad's place? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, you're talking about another facility you worked at? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, hey, I gotta there, fix there that. There, someone died. Uh, the, at my old job, someone died from all the molds. Oh, no shit. Yep. Too much moldy bread? Moldy bread, moldy puss. Yeah, that's what I say, moldy vagina. After <laughs> Moldy foreskin. Mm, yeah, especially schmegma. You know, you gotta clean it properly. You know, yeah, a lot of schmegma. A lot of schmegma. I didn't see your new apartment. I mean, I know you. I know y'all moved in like a while back, but I haven't like seen like a uh, a good interior. It looks nice. I see a dream catcher. Uh, yeah, lots of dream catchers. Have they been, been capturing your dreams? No. <laughs> Since I started smoking weed again, it's when you smoke weed, you don't really, I don't, and a bunch of people I know don't really have dreams, or they don't remember them anyway. I feel like over time, I've been slowly not remembering my dreams. Like, I don't know, sometimes I can dream, I like, back in the day, yeah, I don't know, like, sometimes I'll have a dream, I'll remember it very vividly, very well. But then sometimes I will like sleep, and so, and and now a word from our sponsor. Something everyone can use. That was crazy. That's the carry cart 4-in-1. You've probably never seen anything like it. It's a dolly to move big things, a trolley for hauling heavy things, a hand truck to go up and down and in and out of tight spaces, and an amazingly super sturdy step ladder to get up safely. Will it make someone fall in love with you? Or create riches beyond your dreams? Or perhaps make you famous? Probably not. But it will make moving virtually anything a lot easier on your back and on your wallet. Don't buy any of these expensive space hogs when you can do it all better with one super slim carry cart. It's best in class as a dolly, best in class as a trolley, best in class as a hand truck, and the best step ladder you have ever owned. Plus, it's cool and needs no tools to move it from position to position. We put a 2,400 pound car on four carry carts. If it can handle this workload, it can certainly do any job that you've got in store for it. Look at this, ha! I'm rolling the car, that's crazy. Make big jobs easy and fun and get it done with the carry cart four in one. Just click the button on the bottom of the page and pick a color, we'll even ship it for free. You gonna say anything? That's probably for the best. See, we told you. I feel like I never dreamt at all. It's weird. It's just darkness the whole time. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old <laughs> friend. Dude, I'll tell you what. The disturbed version of that song is pretty good, but then for some reason my Apple Music would always play that song like every time I like turn on my Bluetooth and my car speaker, I would always yeah. hear do 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 Hello Darkness, my old friend. I'm like I and then I got so tired of that song after like the thirtieth time. Yeah. My Spotify does that a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Well, with Spotify, normally I just I go on my playlist, I'll find like I don't know the first song that I, I the previous song I had downloaded, 
and then I'll go, and then I'll just immediately skip to the next one with with uh with um shuffle. Yeah, basically it. Mine's always on shuffle, but they always play some shit like when I'm going to work and coming home from work. The same song will play like two or three times. Got it. Whether I hate it's on that. shuffle or not. <laughs> Are you naked underneath the uh, back? No. I was gonna say. <laughs> not wearing a shirt. I would say that'd be nice if you uh, yeah, where, completely, naked go, for the pod, bro. completely naked podcast. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be naked that'd be kind of funny. Imagine if we did like a like a whole podcast where we we're just naked the oh entire boy. time. Yeah, we'd just be getting, we'd, we'd be fucking flagged immediately, real quick, dude. The previous the clip, I didn't I didn't realize how angry we made people when we were making jokes about the Amish. Oh yeah, people, dude. Someone thought it was a hate crime. Like they're like, <laughs> they they thought what you did by yelling at the Amish saying "get a car" was a hate crime. And I'm like, here's the thing: the Amish don't give a shit what we have to say. They hate us. They hate us yeah. English people. Like they make English fun of us behind. Office. They make fun of us behind our backs every day. Yeah, look at them using technology and driving cars. Look at them using normal showers. Look at them, you know. <laughs> Using air conditioning, you know those 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 people, they're going to hell because they're not us. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to actually glad you brought that up. I actually wanted to apologize to the Amish people for doing that, and by that I mean my views weren't extreme enough against <laughs> them. Um, I actually hope that someone comes along and creates a holocaust for them. <laughs> Holocaust for the for the Amish. That's yeah, not nice. Get, get them the fuck out of the roads. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, if they can be in their horse and buggy, that wouldn't bother me. Get them on trains and send them to camps. Do do oh my god. Do, <laughs> do they have um do they have trains? Do do they believe in trains and locomotives? Oh no, it would be against their will. For trains? Yeah. Putting them on trains and sending them to camps, it would be against their will. Well, yeah. I mean, well, that'd be against <laughs> anybody's will if you sent them to camps on a train, Mike. <laughs> Whether they believe in it or not. I mean, so, do you think the Amish believe in the Holocaust? Or do, do you think do you think they think a Holocaust ever happened? Are the Amish Holocaust deniers? That is that's, that's a the cr- question of the day. That's the question of the day. Are the, are the Amish Holocaust deniers? <laughs> that's not gonna be the title of the of the podcast because people we're gonna think we're fucked up for for even thinking that. <laughs> Fuck the Amish. Hmm. Fuck the Amish. Not their cooking though. They make some pretty damn good food. No, the cooking's fine. And and their tables are pretty good as well. They make pretty good pies. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I heard. I remember I was watching Man vs. Food, and there's this place down in Sarasota called Yoder's. Yep. Yeah, you've been there. Haven't been there. She. Uh, we got pies from the other place that's yeah. like right across the street, Der Dutchman. That's very Amish, yeah. Dutchman. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, basically, all the Amish, what what they are is just Germans that that basically just don't conform to technology. Das Juden. Das. <laughs> das Juden. <laughs> that is funny. Too fucking funny. So what's going on? With you, Val? Uh, nothing, man. Just got done taking antibiotics because everyone where I work is sick, and I eventually got sick. What'd you get sick with? Uh, just some upper respiratory shit. Oh, like, what RSV? No, God, I hope not. I had to take a uh, had to take a Z pack. I just finished the Z pack today. Actually. What is it? What is a Z pack? Antibiotics. Oh, but it's like five days. What, so was it COVID or something? Because I know like some people took a CPAP for COVID. I took a COVID test. It was negative. Mm. I took a single COVID test. That's why I, I can't work in like medical shit like that, man. You know, just so many dirty fucking people. I just can't do it. I guess I should have been wearing a mask this whole time, and I wore one when I was really sick. You still work uh, while you're really sick? Yeah. I took one day off. And then they made me go back. You know, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I'll just, spread your germs that you gave to me. Yeah, yeah cool. I just cough, just cough all over the elderly and fucking, there yeah. you go. Like, if I kill oh, them, boy. I kill them, you know, it's okay. <laughs> just kidding, but. It's all right. They're on their way out anyway. Yeah, you're probably not wrong. <laughs> I think since I've worked there, three or four people have died. Bang. 
Yeah. yeah, it's weird. When I worked at a retirement home, um, yeah, I was pretty close with a lot of the residents that lived there. Yeah. And it, it did suck. Like the ones I was like, I actually like the ones that, 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 that died. I'd be like, dang, like, why didn't that one die? Like, like the one who was like a dick. Why'd you have to die? die? You know? Shit, man. Like, I've had, like, from what from what I know, there's still like some that are like still alive that, that are like now pushing a hundred. Oh boy! Have, uh, yeah, man. That that, that the is still median age that. of people I deal with are like late eighties. Yeah, yeah. Same here with my job because you know I, I I work in medical sales and a lot of them you know yeah I that a lot of I say like the median age I deal with is like eighty three. Yeah, I don't know why I said eighty three, but yes, it's definitely eighties for sure. Well, Between... I see it's from what I can remember from because I have to chart at the end of every day. So I and on their profile when you chart for them, it mm -hmm. shows their age. Ooh, uh, yeah. No, I tip my hat to you, man. I can't do that. Like I just cannot do that. I don't like being around sick people. I don't like being around. I mean, I don't like being around like I don't know dying people. Really, I don't know, man. Just can't do it. I'm okay with being around old people because we have a lot of the same views. Me neither. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's like, yeah, my favorite bird is Jim Crow. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to be alive, man. I envy you for being born in the 50s. Oh, my being God. alive in the 50s. Being, yeah. yeah, they're they're like fucking our age in the 50s. Yeah. It's all it's all white people that are there, too. Really? No, 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 this... no other races? No. There's one Jew... Who's five hundred pounds and bedridden, and uh, wow, he's he used to work for the post office. Really? And I was like, "Wow, you're like Newman from Seinfeld. <laughs> you're five hundred pounds and Jewish and worked for the post office. You're Newman. He did that's Newman. You're literally Newman. <laughs> it's Newman. That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I gauge you at that because he has you. he has this hat in his room. And there's like a Star of David, there's a gay peace sign, and then there's like two American flags or something on it. I was like, man, you don't really, <laughs> a, you don't really know what you are, are you? I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> he actually, man, his funny. voice is like Frylock, or not Frylock, uh, his voice is like Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, he's like, Mike, will you please hand me the... Uh, Can you pass me my soy sauce? Pass me the soy sauce. Yeah, something like that. It's very like New Jersey. Like, wait, you got no sandwich with the bacon on it? <laughs> That's a very obnoxious voice. Imagine oh, he, if it, eats, he eats everything. It does not matter. He's because he's five hundred pounds. So even if just... it's uh, even if it's um, not kosher, he'll eat it. He doesn't fucking care. <laughs> as long as you're cramming food down his gullet, he does not care. I'm hungry. Mike, where's my food? <laughs> what was lunch on the way? Oh, my God. He says, my hairstylist is coming. And it's like a hairstylist that works there for what? everyone. He refers um, to her as my hairstylist. It's like. Yeah, so well, what? what's he getting? A perm for his Jufro or something? No, nah, dude. In terms of, I mean, he did, he did have curly hair. But I think he shaved it down shorter. But, yeah. Huh. My, um. It's disgusting. He smells like a biscuit. Like, he doesn't wear clothes. He just wears a diaper. Oh. And you have to, like, jam towels in the diaper because he pisses all over himself. How old is, is he? Like, how old is he? Like, he's like 83, if I remember correctly. Man, we're literally, you're literally just fucking doing a bunch of HIPAA violations right now. <laughs> I didn't say his name. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you tell me his name, that'd be a HIPAA violation. Or tell I didn't me, like, say what, his what, name. I didn't say the name of the facility. Or it's his a, diagnosis or anything. So we're fine. We're fine. I don't even know what his diagnosis is. He's just old, super old, fat, old, old fat, Jewish. Old fat Jew. That's his disability. <laughs> He's Newman. He worked for the... <laughs> That's so good. I used to work for the post office. That's so funny. That, that is incredibly funny right there. Dude, honestly, like... I know a lot of dudes that, that work for the post office, and I'm like, dude, I can't do it. I either. considered it for the longest time. I mean, it seems okay. I mean, you're, I mean, if you retire with the post office, you can get pretty good benefits like insurances and whatnot, like yeah. the Blue Cross Federal, federal, any kind of federal insurance and whatnot. It's technically a government job. And it is. The union is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think starting off in the post office sounds like it really sucks, but then I know a lot of people that have been with the post office for, for like 30 years, 
and their routes are fucking easy. And, and all, yeah. all they do is just all they do is pick up some like a few things and then take it back, and they they make like what like twenty five an hour or something like that. I'm like, that's not too bad. Uh, it's not bad at all. I don't know. It's like, come on. It's kind of like my old job at Amerilife. Um, you know, there was money to be made with that job, but yeah. Oh fuck, the microphone almost fell. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there was money to be made at the job. But the problem was you had to like fucking basically just really hustle for like five to seven years until you build up that clientele and then until you start making like, you know, yeah. just commission off of agents and uh, agents who sell Medicare and whatnot. And to me, I was just like, dude, like, how about I can get a, a job where I can like at least like make way more than I'd be starting off in a mirror life. But still, I mean, like, enjoy it. Yeah, cold calling fucking sucks. Yeah, cold calls are ridiculous. But yeah, yeah fucking. Um... I mean, I, I don't make a whole lot of cold calls except for like a few ones, maybe that like, like they're in the system and it's like, oh, see if they're still interested. But most of the time, they're they're calling us. People are calling us really, and I'll be making calls to people who I've like spoken with, and they're and I'm like, hey, yeah. what are you doing? You want to give me your fucking information so I can make some money off of you? <laughs> Let's go. But give me that social security number. But everybody at my old job at Amero Life, I don't give a fuck who listens to this, who who probably know of my YouTube channel. They're all Chads, like in a, but in a bad way, in a very uh, bad way, Mike. Like they're the guys that, like the, like the Chads from like Forest High School, but they never grew up. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they wish they were still in high school or still like in college, you know, the glory, they, days. The glory days and, and you, that, that, that's, that's literally them. They're all like, I don't know. It's like, yeah, dude, you I remember that like, one high school game I made that one play in? Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, I know so many fucking people that, that are like, yeah, man, I remember the good old days when I, when I made a lot of them. But I actually wait. I'm sorry. Well, I just went on a tangent right there. Uh, no, but like I still know some people back back uh, back in our hometown. That's called Ocala, Florida. Right. That um, see I see like a bar like whenever I like go out here and there when I'm with like family and friends and whatnot. And so they're on like, meth. Yeah, how, now they are. It, now I see like one dude, you know, whose peak was like his sophomore. From like sophomore to like senior year of high school, yeah. and his best memories were him of being like the quarterback. You know exactly who I'm talking about, by the way, but I'm not gonna say his name. Talking about R A C P. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh God, he wasn't even that good. From what no. I remember, he no, wasn't even he, that good. No, his dad was the coach. That's yeah. why he was. Good. No, he was the he was the athletic director. His dad the was the athletic, athletic director. You're right, dude. I had his I, dude. I had his dad as a teacher because he because he taught like marketing. Yeah, it was, it was like, one of the dumbest classes ever. I was like, dude, this class is stupid. Like, I want out, and that's when I went to good old Mister Bruton. Oh boy, oh, Mister Bruton. <laughs> nah, Mister Bruton freaking drowned the <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> Raccoon or possums or raccoons. It was, it was raccoon. Did you have Mr. Bruton? I didn't know. Yeah, he was awesome, man. I had I him like no interested in taking taking ag. I didn't either, but it was an easy class. It was it also counted as a science credit as well. And plus I had that there's like some of like the funniest people that, that that were in those classes as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Mr. Bruton, if you're if you're watching this, which I know you're definitely not, I salute you. Hope you're all hope all is well with you. Just don't drown raccoons, please. Coolest black guy around. I think he. I think he had to retire after that. He. They forced. No. He. They. For, they were going to fire him, but he retired. Yeah. So basically, it was yeah. a forced retirement. Forced him to retire, yeah. I mean, he's doing fine. He's yeah, fine. He's, fine. he's just he's, hanging I'm out. Sure he's. I'm sure he's. Uh, got some good benefits coming his way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Uh, no, but the thing is that people. A lot of people. A lot of people do not understand what he did was actually. The you're right showing them thing. what you're supposed to do. It was the right thing to do. Someone's it, it, breaking into your shit. 
<laughs> well, here's the thing. Creature is in, in, the, in the state of Florida, a lot of people didn't know this as well because I got into a lot of arguments with people because I was trying to back up uh, Mr. Bruton uh, with all this shit. But uh, what happened was, so you are not allowed to relocate like animals when you capture them. Yeah. You got to either kill them or take them to... Um, like a wildlife facility, like a wildlife facility, like like, like an animal control facility or whatever, yeah. or whatever the fuck. So what he did was right, but the thing is, he should have not. He shouldn't have let that fucking them in front of those kids. Him. They shouldn't have let him fucking videotape it or that yeah. kid video. Yeah. No kids were videotaping. Dude, what do you expect? It, it's, it's like it's a, bunch, it's a bunch of kids. You know, they're like, oh, they got phones on them. They're gonna they're gonna film it no matter what. Yeah, I mean, like. I don't know. Even even if I was still in high school at that time, I probably would have been a little uncomfortable watching that. I would have been like, "Is this motherfucker for real? What the fuck?" <laughs> I'm not pro drowning raccoons or no, raccoons, but no, at the end I'm, of the day, they are pests. Yeah, I mean, I'm pro like getting rid of pests. Like if he would, if it, like if he would, if he, I mean, then again, if he would have shot those raccoons, he would no, that would have been mayhem worse. because right, that was right around the time when when Forrest got shot up. Yeah. I'm just do- I'm just doxing everybody right now, man. <laughs> that, that kid was a fucking that, that kid who brought a gun. Well, what? I, I guess he shot some kid in the foot on accident, but that kid yeah. was a bitch. Yeah, he um basically yeah he brought like a shotgun in his guitar case. Smart thinking, but and yeah. and, yeah. and then he he, well, he had like a bulletproof vest on and like gloves and everything. Like he was ready to go. He was ready to go. Yeah, oh, God. And then so he, what he did, he yeah, he shot down a door and and hit hit a kid in the foot, and that's basically what he did. Yeah, that's all. Uh, I I just yeah, all the kids were out in front of the school. I just remember seeing the pictures on Ocala.com dot com where all the kids were out in front of the school crying. I was like, "What are you crying about? This guy fucking sucks." Like, <laughs> <laughs> God damn. No one died. No one well, died. you know, I got worried because I this is when I was at the pizza place for for a while and. uh I remember one of the kids. One of the kids that was supposed to work was late, and I'm like, "Yo, where you at?" And he's like, "He's like, oh hey, dude, I'm in lockdown right now." And I'm like, "What?" And he's like, "My C64 got shot up." I'm like, "What?" And you know, I was worried at first because I was just like, "Oh fuck," you know. Hopefully, it, I mean, like, it, it, you know, it sucks. It sucks as it was. I mean, like, yeah, like it's, I feel bad for the kid that, that that got shot, but I mean, like, it's not like it was devastating, you know. I mean, it could have been even worse, but thank God it wasn't worse. But still, it shouldn't have happened. Yeah, no, I just when they detained that kid, he was like, they they were the body cam footage came out. He was like, I was, oh, I'm sorry, I was raised by the wrong people. I was like, oh, so you're back no, now? No fucking, fucking excuse, bitch. dude. <laughs> I I mean, that's the only one good thing Deputy Long ever did. And his career, yeah. his tenure as a fucking shitty fucking school Paul Blart. <laughs> and that's it. You know, he was there for years. Like, he was there when we were there. All, all he did was just be a fucking fat cop and 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 fuck the teachers there. <laughs> oh, no, he fucked that one guidance counselor. Yeah, she was my guidance she had, counselor. She had a fetish for cops. I'm sure she yeah. did. I felt a big That's what I heard. Of... That's what some guy you was might it know. Really? Some guy you might know. Uh, he was he was in your grade. He was a grade ahead of me. What's his initials? He... I forget. I, I I don't even remember his name, but I felt like you would have known him. But he was like, yeah, my dad's a cop. She gets around. Oh, <laughs> oh wait a minute. We'll try to remember after after the pod. That's I funny though. I think his I think his name was Aaron. I'm not gonna say his last uh, what I think his last name is, but maybe, maybe Aaron. I might be wrong, but I might be thinking of someone else. But I don't know. Aaron Hernandez. No, yeah, Aaron <laughs> Hernandez. <laughs> no, he was uh, he was killing people while he was in the NFL during this time. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He most certainly was, man. But yeah, no, when he was. Um... Uh, dating that the guidance counselor, we're not we're not going to name her name, name either. Oh, she's doing well too. I forget uh, her name. She's doing just fine for herself, I imagine. She's she's doing just fine. She's doing great. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is she still guiding? Is she, is she still guiding the counseling? <laughs> uh, she's still, she's still guiding the youth. All my younger siblings went to Lake Weir. 
Oh yeah, so that's I was right. the only one that went to Forest, so I don't. Uh... How come you went to Forest, but they, but but you but they all went to Lake Weir? Because my parents wanted me to go to a better school. Oh, so... did your sister go to Forest? No. Why'd she go to Why'd she go to Lake Weir? Because we, I was actually supposed to go to Lake Weir because we lived a mile down the road from Lake Weir. And you still went to Forest. Yep. yep. What's What's the cutoff? Um, where like between Forest and Lake Weir? Because Lake Weir isn't too far from Forest. I think it's like after you know, on the shores where the Publix is. Yes, I think it's right there. Yeah, it's like ten minutes from one from... side. One side of Mary Camp goes to Forest. The other side goes to Lake Weir. And that's then past that's about point. ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. The shores. Did, yeah, you you grew up in the shores, right? Yeah. Kind of. The shore sucks. It does. Yeah. It all look. It's it all looks the same. Like yep. all the houses, all the roads and stuff. Like the the only the only thing you'll notice whenever like, like oh I'm in a different part of the shores is when you see the synagogue. <laughs> yeah, and that uh, that one dude, I, he's, I I'm assuming he was the rabbi of that place, but you always knew it was him because of his gold uh, smart car or whatever the fuck he no, had. No, I he was I, I knew him. He was my teacher at, at Forest, not at Forest. I meant at, at CF. He was one of my teachers. Oh, yeah, he he was yeah. a rabbi there. Uh, he was a nice guy. It was funny, actually. Oh, you're gonna laugh really hard too. Some some my brother. He went to the other congregation um, by Tuscawilla, and his rabbi and that rabbi were like warring rabbis. <laughs> they oh didn't. Boy. They didn't like each other. <laughs> the infighting amongst Jews. <laughs> it's like we got a better congregation. No, we got a better congregation. <laughs> Our congregation is better, Morty. Oh my God, Morty. <laughs> Oh, so I thought of a great idea for a TV show. Are you ready for this? What? So you know how there's like a bunch of people on like TikTok and whatever that want America to become more communist, right? Yeah. So imagine this. Imagine we got contestants. We that call those like, people cucks, Scott. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine if we got those people who loved the idea of communism. We send them to like a communist country like China or North Korea or... Cuba or Venezuela just to show them to see how long they can like last in a communist regime. And then, no, the, then they would just they would get this false sense of patriotism and they would just be like, Oh, I can't believe my country abandoned me. Uh, no, like, no. What I'm saying is it's like, oh, they have to try they, they're gonna try it out to see if it's like, oh, do you wanna live in this fucking shithole? Like, do you wanna work for for this and you know not make shit? You wanna give all your money to people who think they're out the out to love you? No. But the winner. The winner gets a million dollars, but they have to fucking give it all away to taxes because they are now the rich. Oh boy, yeah, that's a that's a good one. Genius, that's incredibly genius right there. And I think that'd be a great show idea. And I want to, do... huh? Going woke, going woke. <laughs> Have uh, what would be a good name for the uh, for the show? Good name. Counting commies. Counting. Com what was the oh uh oh little people big world already exists I'm just about that. <laughs> little minds big i don't know little mind shitty governments i don't know uh <laughs> i don't know but anyway i think it'd be a good idea i even told uh, miranda and a few other people then they're like that's actually kind of fucking genius like get people who like trust me dude there are people on like TikTok. I have like a burner TikTok account where I don't post anything. I just like oh, I just shit on people because why not? And I and I like see people saying like America needs to go communist because you know America like I'm disabled. America like like the 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 the, the capitalistic I, capitalism made me you know like made me think that I can't I I fuck hang on. Some people some people literally say capitalism says i am not good enough because i have to work hard and i'm like that's america yeah, like that's, that, that's the, the Amer thing. like that's the american dream like people well, what will is he bitching about he's already living like a communist he's he, he's on welfare or on disability or something so yeah what? exactly <laughs> you know and yeah, yeah he's but his, you, you want to know what his disability is that this person who i follow well not follow but who i 
fuck with. Yeah, he's obese. A... He's obese. He's he's like four. He's like over four hundred <sighs> pounds, and he says he has anxiety too. And I'm like, bro, we all have anxiety, buddy. And I'm obese technically, and I still work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I still work. Yeah. I don't know, man. It was it's it's just so funny that these people like. I take care of people who are disabled. Actually, do do, do you take care of commies? No, I mean Maybe. besides besides the Jewish guy, but that's, he, uh, he's not a commie. Is he a commie? Not all Jews are commie, or not all Jews are communists, but all <laughs> communists are Jews. General <laughs> principle. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh wow. Well, no, Karl Marx hated the Jews. And then the Bolsheviks came in. The Bolsheviks. Uh, no, Karl Marx was like, like it's funny, like all these like super left wokes, like who love Karl Marx, don't understand how like racist he was actually, and how like anti-Semitic he was. Yeah. <laughs> and then some Semites uh, took his work, and uh, Sim- <laughs> and ended the Russian Federation. Imperial Russia came to an end. Actually, why have you ever seen that silent film, uh, Battleship Potemkin? No. It's one of Stanley Kubrick's favorite movies, come to find out. It's a silent film? It's a Russian silent film that came out in the 1920s. And it was it was basically, it's a propaganda movie for communism. And it was just prom- yeah, how great the Bolsheviks and the Bolshevik Revolution was and all that. The those films are really funny, like especially like the animated films about Mormonism. Oh yeah, we were gonna talk about Mormonism. Oh boy, that's right. Remember, yeah, that that's I remember we we talked about that Mormonism. Can we just talk about how the dinosaur bones are fake and God put them there to test us? Is that what Mormons believe? That's one of the many things that they believe. Yes. Wow, ten minutes. And we're getting into the good shit. We got ten minutes talking about Mormonism. I hate. I, I hate them. I don't know why it does this. <laughs> um. Anyway, Mormonism. Yeah, they. Um. We can like, shit on. We can shit on uh, Mormonism in ten minutes. No, if you're, oh, absolutely. I don't know, man. Just it's just so funny, especially when you know they talk about like obviously how the Book of Mormon was written by you know with Joseph Smith and the gold tablets. I remember one time I was trying to find like a thing. It's like, where did the gold tablets go? And someone's like, oh, the gold tablets went up to, to heaven at when Moroni, the angel, took it from Joseph Smith. And I'm like, I don't believe that. That's, uh, the, that's, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Oh, you, we, no, because see, people questioned him about this. They questioned Joseph Smith about this. It was like, oh, only I can see them. Oh, yeah, only he can because see Because I'm them. acting through God. So, oh so. I, yeah okay i mean look i don't know i mean then again it's kind of like you know with the ancient jews and the ark of the covenant and like all those like you know things it's like oh because like they say of the ark you only had to see the ark if you're like the holiest of holies or like even like a bloodline of moses or something like that oh, i'm boy. like that's kind of stupid i mean like indiana jones and all of them saw it i mean why can't we <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just kid <laughs> I wish the Ark was real, man. I would totally open it at, at, at like a fucking, at like a. What would be a good place to open the Ark? At like a, I don't know, Kamala Harris rally or something. Yeah, something. A a pro Ukraine. A pro Ukraine rally. Oh my god. God. Do you remember that MTV show, The Challenge? Not to segue from Mormonism, but uh, <laughs> yeah, do you remember yeah. that? He showed the challenge, the real world road rules challenge. Yeah, I know. The rebranded challenge. as the challenge. Yeah. yeah. We're watching that, and some fucking douchebag is like, oh, yeah, I was, I was in the most recent season. He was like, oh, yeah, you know, I was, I've was, i been in the Ukraine, and that's where I'm hoping I, I win this million dollars. So, you know, I can go back to Ukraine. I was like, what? I was like, so shut, shut up. No, you're not going to do that. Dude, okay, trust me. Like, my, I, I won't. This hat right here, this belonged to my buddy uh, John. He he was actually uh, I'm on my podcast not too long ago, and he was also in one an MT, in an MTV show as well too, uh, called "Are You the One?" It's and he uh, and he said literally everyone there was just like a fucking like a 
attention or I mean, like, of course, I mean, everyone has to be. But I mean, he was the only one of those actually doing something outside of, you know, attention whoring. <laughs> this kid, not attention whoring, but uh, um, no, but like, because everyone there it was kind of like a snooky or like a situation where they're like, oh, you know, I can just make myself as a brand and make money off of my looks. While, you know, John was the only one that was actually doing something. He was doing comedy. Like and, and a whatever, regular guy. You know. Yeah. He, regular he was guy. Because he was like eight years into st- no, like eight years, wait, how many? I don't know. He was he was a good many years into doing stand up, and then he figured, yeah, and then you know, he just obviously he just fucking got on it because he tried. I think I guess he tried going for the real world, but, uh, then, but then got on that show as well. And I think he did the challenge as well too. I'm not sure, but I don't know. This those MTV shows are annoying. Yeah, they uh, they really are. But we love you, John Tampa News Force. That's his. Uh, that's his little. Uh, Ag- agency? No, it's like it's a fake news organization, kind of like the Onion. Hey, yeah, baby, that's pretty based. Oh yeah. Um. Oh yeah, Mormonism. I don't know, man. Like, even we we, we talked about Warren Jeffs like multiple times. You know, like I, I, I have a joke that that I'm writing about right now, where it's like, oh, like his dad gave instead of like like you because know, you know how he inherited like you know his dad's wives after his dad died. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, normally when your dad dies, you'll inherit, like, his car or money or baseball cards. But no, you get his wives. Even your own mom is your wife now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, mom. Nah, I, I don't know. That's that's just weird. The boyhood dream realized. But imagine if, like, if you're... Imagine if they were all, like, still young and spry women and they still, like, were menstruating. Like, imagine, like, if you were... Like with them, and then all of a sudden they all like started menstruating at the same time. That'd be horrible. No, that'd be like, oh my god, like a week long. I joke with Katie all the time about becoming a polygamist. <clears throat> really? And she thinks I'm being serious. And oh I'm my god, like, I barely have time. I barely have time for one. <laughs> I barely have time for one. <laughs> I don't. I don't have enough room in my head for one. I barely um, have enough room in my head for one. Uh, I can't imagine. Have you, have you ever been in a threesome before? No, no. I don't. I feel like threesomes would be stinky. Maybe. Comment down below. Are threesomes stinky? Because I've never been in one. No. <laughs> especially if it's like two guys. You know, especially if one was no, two, both of them were uncut. That's I'm never gonna be in the devil's three way. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like, imagine if, like, if you are That's in a the only kind of three way I would be in with, is with two well, chicks. They, they say, like, if you're going to be in a three way, don't be in a three way with your homie or don't be in a three way with your girl's homie. You, no, not girl's homie, girl's best friend. And I'm like, yeah, it makes perfect sense right there. Yeah. That's... It, just being a three way with someone that you're, you, that you're going to meet once and never see ever again. And I'm like, yeah. good point. That's a very good point right there. I don't know. Three ways. I mean, do Mormons have three ways? That's a good question right there. Probably not. Probably but, not. Well, no, the ones who are polygamous might, but uh, the fundamentalist Mormons might, but... Uh, because fun, it's in the word fundamentalist, Mike. It is. It is. It is. Uh, they do... Mormons do something weird. It's like a trend amongst the youth, the youthful Mormons. They, the um, youthful Mormons? I forget what it's called. I forget, it, it's like something, but they, like, they won't... <clears throat> they'll penetrate, but they won't thrust... So they'll penetrate and then they'll have their friends or people they know jump on the bed to simulate thrusting. So what are they fucking lobsters? They just sit there and and just have the penis just inserted in yeah, in, in the, the vagina. Beds, the beds the beds making motion. So I mean you you're basically thrusting. Oh. I saw a video someone showed me a video of it once and of more of Mormons doing that? Yes, and then his friends stopped jumping, and then he was thr- He kept thrusting. He was like, "Oh my God, stop! You're going to hell!" Ah. Uh, <laughs> now, nah, and then the Mormons' idea ideas of of black people is really pretty awful as well. Too, you know what it is, right? Refresh my memory. It's probably so the, funny. So, it, 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 Jesus Christ! No, so they think. Um, Black people are the descendants of like demons, and that's why they're cursed with their this the darker skin. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> You're awful. No, and no, I remember I showed um one of my buddies who's a black gentleman uh, that the cartoon. He's just like, "Are you for real?" 
<laughs> and I'm like, dude, I am not Mormon. Like, I didn't make, I didn't make this shit up, man. It's awful. I can't tell you enough times I'm not Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> God, they bless got you. they got really open in the last like 20 years or so when all the well, not maybe not with black people, but with the Polynesians because a lot of them moved to Salt Lake City. Yeah, in droves like 20, 30 years ago. So they started well, accepting them to increase well, the there, numbers. Well, there's also another um, like like Pacific Islander nation that worships King like King George or King Charles or something like that. And I'm Pretty like, based. oh, I guess it, I guess it's based right there. <laughs> well, Michael, we got an hour, one minute and 37, 35 seconds left. I hate Zoom. Yeah, I, I, I love to do that. The whole the, the one that thing that we did the other uh, day we did it. Oh, our messenger. <laughs> Yeah, and I and I yeah. and I and I connected you with <clears throat> one of the um uh like camera things, whatever. I, I it's just a bitch to set up, but we can yeah. do it. It's not a big deal. Anyway, well, podcast minis, podcast and minis. Yeah, man, we we're fucking rolling, baby, rocking and rolling. We could crank out like two small ones in a week, more than likely. I will, uh, yeah. I try to, and then I'll, and then I'll get like a local comic in the area, whenever they can. You know, like yeah. I'll crank, I'll crank a couple out with you, and then another with like a comic or whoever, the, whoever the fuck, really. So, I, I try to do as much as I can. You know, yeah, busy as fuck. I mean, not to volunteer your time for you, but uh, nah, you're always, no, I love you. I love when you come on. It's fun. It's it's always a blast. Yes, sir. Anyway, shitting it off. It's always fun. Yes, shitting off. Shitting on who? Shitting on things is always yeah, fun. But, shitting yeah. on things is fun. <laughs> shitting on your significant other is very fun. Yeah. So. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, have a good night, everybody. Uh.